Howdy y'all and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Seven Days to Die. So, yeah. This is what I've been doing. Digging on this rock. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd you go, little zombie? I spent the entire night here. Huh. I don't know where he went. Digging on this rock. And there was a zombie over there. Just kept walking around, walking around. I kept expecting him to come over here. But, uh, he did not. Get tired of working on this rock, too. Alright, let's go back to base. That's a big rock. Did I mine out of there? Uh, look at that. Over 2,000 stone. Not particularly kind of rock I necessarily need for my my bullets, but I can make use of this stone. Uh, Alright, so now you you can turn stone into crushed sand. So give me it's one for one, right? Yes, yes, I want a zero in there. Ugh, you're so dumb. One, one, two, three. Okay, so I can't type in a thousand, but you can put in two thousand two hundred and ninety-four, right? One, one, two, three. Seriously? You won't let me type in a thousand? <sighs> oh, wait. You know what? I can do this right in here. I want you to turn a thousand of this into crushed sand. Thank you. And I want you... Oh, shoot. And then I left it right over here. <laughs> And I want you You can't even hold the full thousand. I want you to turn it into whatever it is you do with it. I need you to make me some iron bars, I think. Oh, because I'm out of iron. Right, right, right. Okay. Now let's get back over here. Clay and sand, huh? Uh, my... Oh, that could have hurt really bad. My... Oh, shoot. Yeah. I forgot how this works there for a second. Hmm. Well, that's a conundrum. I guess the best thing for me to do is go out exploring and see if I can't pick up some extra supplies. I've got the ammo for it. I'm sure I need to eat and drink before I leave. I know uh I know I'm just about out of fuel. Okay, now Okay, I think I want to go down here and see where that leads today. So let's do that. Uh, also, let me check. There wasn't any gas in here, right? 
in here? No. Okay. Just making sure, making sure. Gotta get some gas. Uh, I had intended to watch, uh, start watching Fear the Walking Dead before I started this today, but I got sidetracked on a totally different thing that ate up a lot of time. And, uh, I, uh, ugh, I've got no gas. I, uh, was watching a thing on Destiny, which I play, and it was talking about some of the lore behind Destiny, and I've never read the the backstory. Um, uh, well, they have these cards that you pick up in the game, but you can't read them in the game. You have to go out to the website to read them. And so I've never really done that, and so I... Uh, Thought, huh, let's go check that stuff out. Really? I feel like I got way more gas than that. It's alright, that got me up to 22. Should be enough to get where I'm going, right? Um, but yeah, so I wound up doing that today instead of... De uh, instead of uh, watching Fear the Walking Dead. It was really interesting. I learned some some things about the game. If you ever played Destiny, it's a uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a low level RPG first person shooter that's online, and uh, it's got a sci-fi storyline. Um, and I enjoy it. I think the storyline's pretty good too. It's uh, uh, especially from what I read today. Um, but they they expand the storyline. So I mean, you can start as a brand new player and play through the original storyline, and then you can play the the House of Wolves. I think was the second storyline, and then the Taken King, and then um, uh. It's after the Taken King. Um, man, there's something else after the Taken King. Because we just had the Siva. Uh, expansion. So far there's been a free mini expansion, an expansion, a free mini expansion, expansion. Um, that's where we're at. We're on year three now, I think. Um, but, uh... Okay, you know, I stopped and I looked at that and I still... was confused about which one of these roads I needed to take. Um, but, uh, yeah, they've got a... This thing came to Earth called the Traveler. Well, it didn't come to Earth. I guess it came to Mars. And it's it's pretty gigantic. It's like the size of a city, only spherical. And um, it ushered in the golden age of mankind. Um, but I really... <clears throat> From everything that I've read now, and my pre-reading beliefs, <laughs> uh, it's this. N n nobody's sure exactly what it is. It's uh, it's referenced as the Great Machine by one of the alien races, and um, I think it's just like a big AI uh, ship at this point. And um, but it comes to Earth, and um, gives mankind all this technology and they spread across the planets and they terraform the planets and I mean like they live on Venus and Mercury and you know all kinds of stuff like that is that the road I wanted back there? I don't think so I think 
I think the one I wanted was over in this corner here. And, uh, oh, you know, I should have looked for gas. I was going to stop and grab some gas. your dog over there. You just stay over there, dog. Just grabbing a little gas. Um, and, uh, but then... It really sounds to me like, unbeknownst to the humans, uh, the Traveler is being followed by all these alien races who want control of the Traveler. And um, whether they're good or bad, I have no idea. But the Traveler... I like that I stopped and got that gas and then I didn't put it in the bike. References them as the darkness. And the traveler is the light. Uh, and, uh, and so then when you're playing the game, you're told that uh, the traveler um, expended the last of its energy to protect one city on the planet and uh, and so that's the city it's the only refuge for humanity left in the solar system and um, and so you're a guardian a person brought back to life or a robot brought back to life by these things that came out of the traveler called ghosts they're little tiny robots, and they can resurrect anyone who has the ability to control... What? That dude didn't fall down. Um, the light, which... Not sure exactly what that is. Um, it doesn't seem like it comes from the Traveler, uh, because... No, otherwise, everybody could use it, right? The Traveler just give it to everybody. And everybody could be a warrior against the darkness. But no, the little ghosts have to go out and find someone who's capable of manipulating this etheric force. And, um... So, uh... Uh... Man, bike. When did you lose the ability to just run these guys over? And so, uh... Yeah, that's... that's basically how it starts. You get awoken and then you join the fight against the darkness. And, um, well, I always found it odd that this story talks about how the Traveler <clears throat> has been fleeing the darkness and that it ushers in this golden age of peace for humanity and that we basically blah, blah, basically need to worship it because it it's the only thing that stands between humanity and utter destruction by the darkness. And uh, and then what's really goofy to me is the first year campaign, uh, the original campaign, has nothing to do with the darkness. It's all about these other things called the Vex that aren't even part of the darkness. They're a totally different force <laughs> that's attacking. Maybe. I don't know. They're not actually on Earth, so I don't... I don't know. They're supposed to be the worst thing ever. Um, although, from what I've read now, I, I, you know, they are enemies of humanity. And, uh... So, uh... But the Traveler shows up, right, and ushers in this golden age. Worship the Traveler. The Speaker knows. The Speaker is this guy who is the conduit from the Traveler to humanity. He knows, and we are trying to help the Traveler repair itself uh, so that it can help us fight the darkness. And, um... And I'm like, okay, so 
Now I've been through most of the first first campaign and there are no giant battleships in this game for humanity. There are no super fortresses. There are no giant gun emplacements to fight back against the darkness that's coming. I believe that the Traveler didn't tell anybody. Get off me. So the Traveler shows up. The Traveler gets the humans to do whatever it is it needs the Golden Age of Humanity for. I think basically what it's doing is this. is uh, Whatever's chasing it... Whatever's chasing it... It has, um... It f it's fleeing it. And so what it does is, as it comes across, uh... Species in the galaxy, universe, wherever it spans, um... It stops and gives them technology so that they will be a... Deterrent against against the darkness to give it a chance to flee. I'm pretty sure that's how this story goes down. And, um... Oh, did you see that? Nurse just fell off the roof of the... And, um... But it doesn't tell anybody that the darkness is coming because it doesn't want anyone to have weapons capable of harming it either. And so when the darkness shows up, you know, it's just it's not really the darkness, it's just a massive fleet of different aliens who are all fighting each other for control over the traveler's technology it seems like. There's uh the fallen uh the cabal and the hive. The hive are evil as far as I can tell. There is no good in the hive. The Fallen are a previous species that the Traveler has uh, has dealt with and left to fend for themselves in the face of the darkness. Uh, and so they are now part of the darkness because they seek the Great Machine, whether for vengeance or just for the technology to save their species. I don't know. But... Um, that's one of the things I learned today. I didn't know that about the Fallen. And, um... And so, uh, this all came from me because I was on the internet and in my uh, YouTube, it suggested a video to me, is the Traveler evil? I don't believe the Traveler is evil. Uh, I believe the Traveler is just out to protect itself. And... Um, so that's what's that's what's happening is that it's just it's out ooh out to protect itself. This might be a good time to put this down too. Actually, isn't there just one right here? I'm so glad there's not spikes there. That's like the third time I've done that, just fallen into the pit. Yeah, I don't think that would work. Um, and, uh, the, uh, okay, so I want to take that one and this one and combine them. So the, um, but yeah, there's no there's no defenses like the humans were preparing for the darkness. So I don't believe the traveler told anyone that the darkness was coming. And what I read today kind of confirms that. Um, if you read the grimoire cards, the grimoire cards, grimoire, it's pronounced grimoire, and um, they. Uh, they talk about this uh, 
computer that the humans had pre I feel like it's pre traveler called Rasputin. It's a giant computer complex called uh called a war mind. And so it's basically just an AI that um you know controlled controlled all the weapons of war that mankind had and for whatever reason Rasputin shut down uh when the traveler got there because it knew it couldn't uh am, did I no you just can't hold anymore I guess yeah okay and uh so uh What? That's not what I wanted. I wanted the <laughs> I wanted that to move over there and it just kept swapping them in and out. Uh Okay. Uh I guess before we do this, I want to see I guess we'll just keep heading south. I'm sorry, what's happened to my bike? That's weird. I was telling to put gas in the bike, and it was putting gas in the bike, and then I got on the bike, and then it said that it was 100% full... And then I put gas in the trunk here, and then it said it was empty. Why would it do that? Oh, you can refuel it from here. Ugh. I didn't know that. It's way better than what I've been doing. But, uh, yeah, so some of the things I read today uh, talked about Rasputin. The war mind. Oh, I guess I can't go. That's not south anyways, buddy. You just said you were going south, and then what you do, you immediately turn to the east? Um, and so, uh, as you read through the, uh, background information, that's only, oh, this doesn't go anywhere either. What kind of place is this? you got a crossroads that doesn't cross anywhere. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> it, it seriously does not cross anywhere. I think there's a road. Yeah. A road, though, right? No river? Right. Here we go. Here we go. Down the hill. Head toward the road. Turn. Turn. Bike. Bike. I can't control it all of a sudden. What the heck? What's wrong with it? Oh, the handlebars are broken. Well, that's a that's a problem. Uh, okay. What does it take to make handlebars? <laughs> Duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, and a short iron pipe. Six of those. Two duct tape. Uh, okay. Um...
Where did it go? There you are. Uh, okay, so this is what I want. I want... to stop it from rolling into the... Uh, snowberries! You guys get out of here. I'm trying to do something. Alright. Okay, I think that'll stop it from rolling into the ocean when I get on it here. Uh, okay. But I've got to go find supplies now to fix my bike. So, uh, anyways, some of the things I was reading today um, talked about Rasputin. And uh, Rasputin's an interesting character in the... in the... Uh, in the game, uh, Rasputin is this, uh, like I said, computer uh, called a war mind that appears to be AI. Uh, I don't know if it's AI like the Exos, although it probably is. It's probably um, one of the species in the game you can play is called an Exo. It's a robot built by humans, apparently to fight the Vex, which are another robot group in the game. And... Uh, we go back to that little thing up the hill here, I guess, and see if I can't find the bits and bobs I need to repair my bike. And, um, so I'm sure the war mind has got to be, like, another step or more above the Exos intelligence-wise. And, uh, because the Exos are basically human. And, uh, but as you read through the Grimoire anyways, it turns out, at least uh, from my understanding of what I'm reading, that this whole mythology about the Traveler and how it expended the last of its energy to save the city from... Uh, from the darkness so that the guardians could fight back against the darkness is a big fat lie uh, because it's it seems that Rasputin uh, had awoken uh, and just as the just as the traveler was going to attempt to leave um, leave the planet uh, Rasputin fired uh, this thing called the Loki Ring on the Traveler and stopped it. And so he may have hit it with some kind of EMP device uh, locking it in place until um, yes. Ooh, I was hoping that would have mechanical parts. Uh, I'm not too worried about the gray tape. Uh, I can make that. I just have to go kill an animal. Uh, the short pipe probably isn't going to be as easy to get six of those. So that's probably going to take some work to get my hands on. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Rasputin. Ooh, a treasure map. I'll take that. Uh, he might be my favorite thing in the game, and I wish he had better communication with him. He's very strange, and um, you activate him as one of the early quests in the game, and he basically... Uh, sends a signal across the uh, the solar system acquiring all of the military assets that were left behind that are no longer in human control because um, that golden age really 
seems to have stripped humans from a lot of the human technology they once had access to. Now it's all traveler stuff. But, uh, yeah, pretty fun storyline. Um, I, uh, yeah. Which totally distracted me from from uh, starting Fear the Walking Dead today. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to continue looking for the pieces I need here. Uh, can you get pipes off of this thing? No. No, instead I got a the thing itself. Uh, ooh, what about this? Yes, okay, okay, that's awesome. I got my pipes. Uh, I can make the duct tape. Uh, I picked up the mechanical parts. What else was in there? Leather. Uh, how much leather? Two leather. I'm pretty sure I've got two leather on my my bike. Awesome. So all I gotta do is make a... Oh. Right. I can't make the camp... Or I can't make the duct tape because I don't have the supplies to make duct tape. I'm pretty sure that has to be done in a beaker. To make the glue, I mean. Oh no, that doesn't say anything about a beaker. It just says bottled water and large bones. So yeah, maybe I can make the duct tape, but yeah, I'll try and repair my bike and uh and then hopefully get it out of that spot and maybe find a new town to loot before next episode. Uh alright, with that click leave a like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.